In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and possibly the best way to clean your laptop. So what happens? You use a laptop, you move around a lot. There's a lot of crap that can accumulate on the surface of your laptop. Now, I've actually protected my laptop with a dbrand skin, not a sponsor, but if they would like to sponsor me, please do. Um, so I don't really have to worry about the outside, but on the interior, especially with Apple's quest to make their laptops as thin as possible, stuff from the keyboard can get on the screen and then the trackpad fingerprints can get on there and it can be a bit of a mess on an ongoing basis. So now I'm gonna show you how to clean your laptop. So I've stuck with the simplest possible materials for this. So all you're gonna need is two different microfiber cloths and a spray bottle of water. Since you're cleaning things off of a dark surface, such as a screen, I would recommend moving to a bright environment while you're doing this. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so this is my bathroom, but it's a well-lit environment, and it's probably gonna be where you find some of this stuff anyway. So over here, I've got my laptop, and the first thing I usually do when I'm cleaning it for videos or just to keep things clean in general, is I grab one of my microfiber cloths, this is actually the one from Dbrand, and I'll just kind of wipe down the obvious debris. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some loose crumbs. This will also get rid of fingerprints with a little bit of elbow grease. So just kind of do a light wipe down, get up, get off what you can. And then after you're done with that, take your second microfiber cloth and just put it down on a counter or a relatively clean surface and just take your spray bottle and just spray the cloth. I never usually want to um, spray any parts of the laptop directly because then water can get in places where it shouldn't. So let's start with the screen. Take your now damp microfiber cloth, grab your laptop screen and just kind of Try and clean it like this. Move it back and forth, kind of in a circular motion if you want. And this temporarily will make it super smudgy and looking kind of gross, but we're gonna fix that in a second. When you're doing that, don't be afraid to apply a little bit of force because laptop screens are pretty sturdy and some of this grime needs a little bit of muscle to get it off. Now, I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but the screen is all smudgy and a little bit gross. I think the light is just shining in it. Anyway, it's super smudged. The water made it look worse. Well, that's where our second microfiber cloth comes in. This one has remained dry, so now you can polish off that, um, all of those smudges created by the water and make it nice and clean again. All right, so now I finished that and the screen is looking amazing. Super shiny, glossy. And um, now we can move on to the keyboard and trackpad area. So take your damp microfiber cloth and again, just wipe it down. Hopefully your computer is shut off and then it shouldn't be a problem if you apply any pressure to the keys. Mine just turned back on for some reason. I don't know why. Might have held down the power button for too long. All right, and then once you're done that, you usually uh, won't need this cloth, uh, depending on what material, material, sorry, your laptop is made out of. But you can just polish it down again with this fine touch-ups. And then what you can also do with a microfiber cloth, bit of a hack here, is take a like a corner of it and just stick it down into any grooves in like a hinge or under keycaps if you want to get some stuff out of there. And then if you don't have your laptop skinned like me, you can do the same sort of process with the exterior. Just grab your damp cloth, wipe it down, and then polish it up using your dry microfiber cloth. And it should be looking amazing. My laptop is spick and span and ready to go. Well, there you have it. Now you have a super spick and span, clean laptop to impress all your friends with. I really do like this method. It's pretty easy. The materials, you probably already have them at your house and it's super easy to clean your laptop. A quick note I would like to make before the end of the video 
is that you should also be cleaning the keyboard and trackpad area every single time you're cleaning your display because when the laptop is closed, if your laptop's pretty thin, it will probably, the display that is, be coming in contact with the keyboard and trackpad where all your you know, greasy fingers and all your finger oils have been. So you wanna clean that area as well if you want your screen to stay clear. I clean my laptop like this every two weeks, but if you're using a non-touch screen laptop, you could probably get away with doing it every three or four weeks, maybe a month. But if you do have a touchscreen laptop, I would be cleaning it every two weeks or so. If you neglect it for too long, some of the stuff will just never come off. Uh, which happened to my old laptop and uh, I just don't like looking at a dirty screen when I'm you know editing or web browsing watching videos doing anything really so I think it's important to keep your laptop clean and this is a pretty simple way to do it just takes a little bit of elbow grease anyway that's it for this video feel free to subscribe for more tech videos and tutorials like this and follow me on Twitter at Kyle G new for behind the scenes and video notifications